I've been at this hotel now five years, but I was actually at college in Blackpool more years ago than I care to remember, which is about 21 years ago. So I know Blackpool as a student and um, obviously as a general manager. 44 years. I came over in, uh, I think it was 1964, on holiday. I think families still come, absolutely. Um, our, uh, our family rooms are as full as they've always been. However, whereas it used to be very much the summer months, it has condensed very much into half term weeks and October half term. There's lots of families come, yeah, lots of families come, yeah. The, the prom is packed on the school holidays and in the summer, you know, and especially when they come from small towns, they think Blackpool's wonderful. You know, on the beach, they're on the beach, they're on the piers, you know, they've got everything. And then if it's raining, they can uh, go in the tower, see life. You know, you haven't got that abroad. There's not as much entertainment for families abroad. I don't care what anybody says. I would say so. Guests generally, whichever area you're in uh, and whichever town you're in in the UK, guests are more savvy these days. Everybody wants a, wants a deal. Everybody's looking for a special offer. I think we get a much broader mix of guests these days than we used to. We, uh, this hotel's been around over 140 years now and a lot of our guests at the Imperial are guests that have been coming to us for 40 years, coming as young children yeah. and are now coming back with their own children and their grandchildren. Um, also, you know, like I mentioned, the, the way we take bookings now uh, is a lot different, so you don't meet the, meet the guests or talk to them before they actually get here. So it, I would say it's a lot more diverse than it used to be, but we still have a wonderful mix of children, adults and grandparents coming, and of course conferences and, and corporate guests as well. My perception has changed considerably from what I thought I was coming to as a destination to what I actually came to. And what I'm actually working in now is a very forward thinking destination. Oh yeah, I think it's the only, the nearest thing to Las Vegas in England because we've got the casinos. I know we didn't get the, the big casino, yeah. um, but I don't, I, I don't think that would have made much difference to me. Um, I don't know, I, I, think, I just think it'll come back into its own again because uh, I, we, we said that it's been busier this year than the last two or three years. And mainly I think that is because it's, it's dearer abroad now. And like I said, there's a lot more here now for families, you know. Absolutely, without question. Both as a city, as you know, a town by the beach, as a concert destination, as a leisure destination, and as a conference destination, most definitely has a future. And a one that I can see, you know, it's, it's, it's in my time here. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting at the moment.